this project um, was was happening before I got here. It was it was happening in my in my mind somehow, and um, I just needed the time to put everything together. But it was like a puzzle in my mind, and no 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 sense. And everything was kind of like uh, separated. My ideas. When I arrived here, and I and I start uh, searching about these ideas of this uh, new collection of works and uh, the natural selection title of this show, then I was kind of getting clearer and clearer and clearer every time. Valerie's technique is very interesting. She seems very inspired by her collage work as an inspiration towards her larger scale works. And I think that's a great preparation before because sometimes we just, as artists, just go blind into something. And so I think it's great she has guidance. Of course, something magical happens in between there. And I think the end result is something more than uh, the original collage ideas. Within Valerie's work, she's, she's a young artist. And, and the, the, the works that, I've, that I'm familiar with that she's made in the last few years um, there are, there's a whimsy to it, there's a sort of a darker edge, but she takes a lot of known imagery or iconography and she recontextualizes them in ways that we all have our relationships with those certain images, whether it's uh, something from nature or something man-made, but she's putting them within a landscape of something uh, that's truly hers, and I think that's, that's, there's, there's historical precedence for that, but I think she's got her own flavor to it, and I think that's, it's very, uh, it's very engaging. I select uh, images from different types of books and uh, magazines, all type of magazines, and I take care of, uh, particular, uh, I focus on paper, good quality paper of each image. And then I separate them, and I uh, try to understand the, each value of each image I'm using for, in order to, to then uh, recreate a new story. They're very rich paintings that allows the viewer to really spend some time because there are many layers to read and to engage with. Yeah, her themes are very interesting because they're very autobiographical and I think they're very subconscious of her experience. Living in Mexico, being very young, experiencing an earthquake, experiences with her father. So they all seem to be reminiscent flashbacks to those moments. These characters um, together uh, enrich the, the whole idea of the nature, the balance of nature and the humankind and this evolution, but the evolution in terms not only of the physical evolution but also the emotional evolution of, of the, the humankind. This an ending process to understand uh, how we manage the happiness and the suffer. The, the grass is always greener in the other side, no matter where you are, right? So for me, it was like um, something to, to, to start with, uh, this idea of, uh, of, um, of the other side and my side and this, this feeling of me that uh, of not uh, belonging to anywhere, that I've, I don't feel that I'm from here or that I'm from there or that I'm from from China that I've been traveling that much that my work is adapting to each circumstance where I am. I think that, that Lawrence and Kansas, uh, even the U.S., have found their way into, into her work. Um, you'll see it with some of the iconography that's built within the composition. Uh, when I first became familiar with her work, she was doing work in China, and it was really obvious some of the connections that were being pulled into her work when she was there doing a residency. Well, it's a very interesting um, environment here, a very artistic, insightful environment. I think I never had enough time to be only doing my work. And since I had this uh, residency, um, I've been only dedicating my time and my concentration to do this, and I found out very interesting uh, stuff about myself. So for here, uh, this work, Natural Selection, The Pursuit of Happiness, it's, it's, it's narrating a new story. It's a new, a new cycle, a new um, story created by my, my own stories. <laughs>